between Athens, Texas and Memphis, Tennessee. We are headed to Indiana. We're gonna sneak into a rally that we don't belong at. <laughs> we got a problem. Yeah, we got a problem. We're gonna look for a shop to get this repaired hopefully tomorrow. It's not the quietest of campgrounds, but it'll do. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Garrett. And I'm Carolyn. And we're Diary of a Family. We're living life intentionally with you. Today we bring you the Alliance Rally 2022. All right, I know guys, this is a year late and we understand. Watch <laughs> our previous video if you want to understand what happened in 2022 for Diary of a Family. Hey, if you were at the 2023 rally, we really missed going. I know you guys had a fantastic time and the weather was gorgeous. Can't say the same about 2022, but the people were fantastic. All the kids are awake, smiling. Yeah, I've been awake since 5 a.m. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Day at the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid. couple hours we've got our history lesson done Emma started her uh, language arts Timothy is gonna do language arts with me in a little while probably after lunch we're gonna have an early lunch you guys we've been up since five we're hungry already and it's only nine Welcome to Tennessee. I'm like wait there's the Memphis pyramid we should be in Tennessee and I look up oh wait we're crossing into Tennessee now I think it's worth it getting woken up at 5 a.m. We did break part of a shackle on our trailer, so. Yay! I'm not super happy about that. It means we probably have to get a shop and get it fixed. The tire just seemed a little bit closer there than before. And we are inspected here, and you can kind of see it. And, uh... The drama continues. I was able to find a shop that could do a band-aid tomorrow morning mm -hmm. and someone that actually would listen to the problem and said, oh, is this all you need? Yeah, that's it. It's just one. Between Athens, Texas and Memphis, Tennessee, which is almost 500 miles. And we did it all in we, one day. We did it all in one day. We made great time. We broke a shackle on our equalizer, yeah. which is a part that goes between the two axles in our trailer it's only one so the trailer is not out of commission i can still yeah. drive it yeah very carefully very carefully yes to indiana funny thing is i thought that the tire was riding a little like the body was riding a little bit lower the tires aren't riding lower than normal they're just fine because yeah. it hasn't broken fully but it caught my eye and that made you look closer and lo and behold there was something broken down there we could have been like halfway down the road, on the highway somewhere, stranded if it got completely busted through. Tomorrow, we're gonna get it in and get a Band-Aid. We are at Customs. I'm gonna go in and talk to them. Okay, sounds good. And then look around, see if they have a good place for us to stay. We're getting our shackle replaced. They're getting the tire off right now. They're, <laughs> hear that going on? <laughs> Should be a quick fix to get us back on the road and then we're hoping to get this thing taken care of <laughs> properly when we get up to Elkhart. That was relatively painless. Yeah. Thank God. Here it is. We'll have to leave a review. 79.57, that's not bad. Not shabby at all. First time. Come on, we're gonna get a new stick up tonight. Yes. It's not the quietest of campgrounds, but it'll do. And it's still free. We haven't paid for a campsite yet on this trip, and we'll see if we have to. This is the first time we've stayed at a Loves, and actually, I bet you all the noise is coming from our generator, right back there. We needed to hit uh, run the generator, because it hasn't been used in a while. We stayed inside Bass Pro Shop for most of the afternoon, evening. We're gonna eat here because it's too hot in the trailer. The kids wanna look at the fish. And there's salads. While we eat. Oh yeah. Salads. I have a challenge for the deep fam. A challenge for the deep fam. Can you say huma huma nukuna go aqua a? Can you say what? And then we just suffered. 
It was pretty hot in the trailer, like 88. We're at Walmart. In Martinsville, Indiana. Martinsville, welcome to Martinsville. <laughs> and this is what's going on right now. Thunder, lightning, Garrett's hair. It's all kinds of crazy. We are gonna stay here the night. We've already gone into the store to get lunch stuff and dinner stuff. Tomorrow we hit, we hit Elkhart. Yep. Good morning. This is day four. We're gonna hit our destination today. Find your backpack. Uh, well, well, mommy. She says she wants to have a sleepover with me. Bye, Walmart. Why did we go to the Alliance RV Rally? Do, yeah. Hmm, do we have a route? Do we have an Alliance? I don't think so. Well, we are here at Elkhart, Indiana, and we're at an Alliance Rally, but... We got a problem. Yeah, we got a problem. We are in an Alliance. No, we're not. But we have a solution. We do, because we've kind of snuck in here. We did. We got to kind of fix that, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's go ahead and fix that now. All right. Perfect. Ta-da! We are now an Alliance. We now have an Alliance RV. And we are legit at... <laughs> the Alliance Rally. <laughs> Although, no. you did slap a sticker on it. I, we tried to go incognito while we were at the Alliance Rally, and we had a lot of fun with it. But I we, don't think it worked because we were relegated to the back parking lot with a bunch of other rigs. That might have to do with the fact that we were there on business because I created a training program for Alliance RV with the NRVTA, and we were up there for their rally to celebrate the launch of this new training program. And so it was a lot of fun for us. It was really one of our first RV related yeah. rally that wasn't a full-time family event that we just had a blast at. Our kids were starting to act like they were um, rally rats and running all over the Elkhart County Fairgrounds, but it was small, it was very much community oriented, and I felt pretty safe to let them go And together. we kind of knew that where they were heading yeah. for the most part. We would radio or call our friends who were at the rally and say, have you seen our kids? Oh yeah. They're like, oh here. yeah, they're here. Like, thank you. <laughs> and if not, usually they were in one of the common areas at a ton of grass and running around climbing trees. We met so many cool people while we were there. That was the first time we actually met Chris and Martha from the Venturesome Couple. Yes. And they were the first time we met them and they already gave us hassle. So <laughs> it, was, it was a great meeting. Oh, they gave us a big ribbing. Yeah. They said the uh, the Grand Design Rally was last week. Whoops. Well, I see, okay, so I see an Outback, I see a Mallard. All right. There's, There's, a, okay. There's, There's a, a few. Grand we're following this wonderful fellow Mama, here. look! I see a horse place. They were like, um, so you know the uh, the Grand Design Rally's in September, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, we know. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we're supposed to be here. <laughs> we're supposed to be here, so our Alliance Rally sticker is still on our trailer from 2022. Oh my gosh, is it so big? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also got to meet Jim Belletti. He is one of the rally organizers for Alliance and um, we've built up quite a friendship with him and we got to meet a number of other people who work for Alliance. It's really just a great company, very family oriented and, and honestly, have fun. Yes, absolutely. And if we ended up upgrading our RV in the future, we might even consider an Alliance RV. Oh yeah, Rob would totally razz you if you didn't if think didn't. about getting one of their alliances. <laughs> it's Thursday night, Hawaiian potluck night. We're so excited. I made a cabbage salad, doubled the recipe, and made sure I brought some deviled eggs as well. Everything looks delicious, smells delicious. Lots of people still bringing food. Everybody's decked out in their best lays and their best Hawaiian shirts excited for some live music as well back on the stage back there. While we were there, Carolyn and the kids went on a tour of the Alliance RV factory. That was a pretty cool experience. It was my first time inside an RV facility, like manufacturing facility. 
seeing some of the things that they were being innovators in was pretty neat and just seeing how they want to create a great working environment for their employees, keeping them safe, uh, keeping them from injury, uh, it's pretty cool to see. And I was able to do some cool footage for the NRVTA in a few of the different areas as well. So we both got some really unique experiences at that factory. And if you are into RVing, you really need to make a stop at Elkhart and tour some of the factories and see how your RV is made. It's really going to give you a better understanding of your rig and how it works. We had a really fun time at Alliance going through their manufacturing plant. We got to see how the paradigm is put together. I am really excited that my kids got to experience this because now they appreciate our home on wheels. Thank you so much Alliance. We've had fun at the rally. Why should you consider going to an RV rally like the Alliance rally? Well our friends, um, the Stevens from Nursing Our Travel Bug, really discovered the possibilities of going to a rally for your rig because you can tell them ahead of time, hey, I have this and this and this wrong with my rig, and they will actually come out during those rallies with their techs all over the fairgrounds, um, just taking care of those issues and fixing them on the spot. Yeah. It's just one of those things that they're like, you paid to come to our rally, we're gonna give you lots of opportunities to learn and grow and meet people, um, but we're also gonna make sure you walk away with having those things that have been broken on your RV, yeah. Fixed. Yeah, I mean, this just good customer service. If Absolutely. you're there, you're nearby, they have all the techs available and they can be prepared ahead of time to um, come in. She said they were allowed to choose, I think, three things to get fixed and they actually had a laundry list. And actually, um, the techs that came in did a fantastic job of just going and knocking off some of the other little things. So yeah. they got quite a few items fixed on their rig. Now RVing is all about community and these rallies are great community builders. Oh no, it ended, of course it ended. Going to a rally like this, whether it's a Grand Design rally, whether it's Alliance, Jayco, Heartland, really helps bring that sense of community to your experience. And then you have some camaraderie because you are in a grand design, they're in a grand design, you're in an alliance, they're in an alliance. And it really just creates some bonds and some friendships that really last. And, and we enjoy that aspect of RVing mm -hmm. so much. And that's really one of the things that has kept us going for almost five years. Yep, having the same rig, you obviously have one major thing in common with some complete strangers next to you. A couple other little things to think about when you're going to a rally, you're gonna get some awesome training, some awesome opportunities to maybe purchase some things for your rig at a discounted rate. And also they usually do some amazing giveaways. So go ready and prepare to party, have fun. I think what I really enjoyed at the Alliance rally is there was a family in need, in the Alliance family, and they had a silent auction for this family. Um, it was a pretty major medical expense yeah. for their child. And these baskets for the silent auction were, they no were nice. kidding, they were nice. I am so glad that the Alliance family does want to reach out and help in their community. Are you, ha are you happy with your bag? Yeah? Yeah. Because it had more stuff on it. I'm happy with mine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to join us next week as we go on our Michigan adventure. We took a little detour while we were in Elkhart, Indiana to go visit Lake Michigan and you're not going to want to miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live, live life intentionally. intentionally. Bye y'all. Bye.